This is the Skywatch Media News Special Report for May 4, 2019. During the first week of May, space agencies from both the United States and Europe conducted an emergency drill, which included an imaginary depiction of a large asteroid on a collision course with Earth, with an arrival year of 2028. All of the details involving the 2019 mock exercise is available in the Skywatch video publication posted April 30th. From all indications, it looks as if NASA is taking the threat of an asteroid strike very seriously. Here's why. NASA is well aware that dangerous asteroids passing near the Earth are not a rare occurrence. In fact, it is happening more frequently now than in years past. Furthermore, there are more meteor strikes happening than what the public is aware of. It is because of the real threat from space that the NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine made a startling announcement at the International Planetary Defense Conference in Washington, D.C. on April the 30th. The announcement made major headlines and it turned a lot of heads towards the sky. The NASA chief warned that we should prepare to be hit by a large asteroid or meteor in our lifetime, and that preparations are presently underway to help protect our planet from the likelihood of an impact. We have to make sure that people understand that this is not about Hollywood, it's not about movies, this is about ultimately protecting the only planet we know right now to host life and that is the planet Earth. 1,500 people sought medical attention. 7,200 buildings were damaged in six cities. And that was an asteroid that was 20 meters big. Here we have one within, within 17,000 miles of the Earth that, in fact, was 30 meters wide. That would have been a significant event. So the modeling says this is going to happen once every 60 years. The modeling also suggests um, that, uh, in fact, the, the, the fact is that we've had three such events in the last 100 years. And of course, the Tunguska back in 1908, that particular event wiped out hundreds of square miles of forest over Eastern Russia. So these events are not rare. They happen. And of course, it's up to us to make sure that we are characterizing detecting and characterizing, tracking uh, all of the near-Earth objects that are uh, potentially could be a threat to uh, the world. And that's what this international group is all about. To emphasize in more detail the seriousness of his remarks, the NASA director used the example of the Shulabinsk event in February of 2013 in which a meteor about 65 feet across entered the Earth's atmosphere over Russia. The huge blast it created as it entered injured more than 1,500 people and damaged over 7,000 buildings. Statistically, meteor events of that size happen once every 60 years, but Bridenstine pointed out that there have been several such incidents over the last 100 years. On the very same day as the Shelobinsk event, another even larger asteroid passed the Earth, the space rock known as Duende, measuring 100 feet across. This asteroid is expected to pass the Earth once again in the next century. The good news is that NASA has been directed by the U.S. government to detect and track 90% of near-Earth objects that are 460 feet or larger. But here is the dilemma. There are an estimated 25,000 objects in this category, and the agency has only cataloged about one-third of them to date. Tracking large asteroids that threaten the Earth requires additional resources and the cooperation of more countries to construct more powerful rockets similar to the space launch system that NASA is working on for the next manned mission to the moon, which is scheduled for the year 2024.
NASA is also working side by side with a SpaceX company in an effort to deflect threatening meteors. In this endeavor, a rocket will be launched into space on a collision course with a near-Earth asteroid in an attempt to change its course. The experiment is called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, which will be initiated in the very near future. With the escalation of meteor strikes and asteroid flybys, the sudden need to detect or deflect near-Earth objects seems quite certain. But there is a great deal of uncertainty as to whether a defense system can be ultimately successful in protecting our planet. There is no secret to the fact that NASA is very worried about the arrival of a huge asteroid that will pass dangerously close to our planet in the next decade, with subsequent arrivals over the next century. They are so worried about this rock that space scientists have discussed its arrival at the 2019 Planetary Defense Conference. Here is what is known about this asteroid. In April of the year 2029, less than 10 years from now, a monster asteroid will approach the Earth. The rock will arrive as a glowing fast speck in the sky. As it approaches, it will get brighter and move much faster. Scientists have named the rock Apophis after the Egyptian god of chaos. The glowing speck will be a huge asteroid, 340 meters across, that NASA is already carefully watching. The space agency says the rocks will fly past the Earth at a distance of 19,000 miles, the same distance as where some of the Earth's satellites now orbit, which makes this approach dangerously close to our planet. It will first be visible to the naked eye when it arrives in the night sky over the southern hemisphere, shooting across the east coast to the west coast of Australia. It will make its way around the world, cross the Indian Ocean on its way to the U.S. Its closest approach will be over the Atlantic Ocean as the evening arrives in the United States. It will move so fast that it will cross the ocean in just one hour. It is extremely rare for asteroids of this size to pass this close to the Earth, which provides an opportunity for scientists to examine this colossal asteroid close up. However, there is a great deal of disagreement among scientists about the dangers posed by the approach of this space rock. The monster asteroid Apophis is a representative of about 2,000 currently known potentially hazardous asteroids. It was first spotted by astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in June of the year 2004. Not long ago, Russian scientists warned that Apophis could collide with the Earth at speeds of 15,000 miles per hour in the year 2036. According to their estimates, the asteroid's path around the Sun could produce at least 100 possible scenarios in which the rock could collide with the Earth in the year 2036, just seven years after its 2029 approach. But NASA disagrees. They say that future measurements of its trajectory rules out any foreseeable impacts. So where does the truth lie? It all seems confusing. If NASA is correct in saying that Apophis will narrowly miss the Earth in the year 2029, then what exactly are they so concerned about? There's something that has them on edge. But what is it? Keep your eyes to the sky, folks. These are interesting times. A lot is happening out there, and the storm has just begun. Skywatch Media has been informing the public on topics and events that are disregarded or seldom reported by the mainstream media. Over the years, this channel has published a series of educational and informative videos with an emphasis on providing accurate and precise information to the public. You may not always agree with the interpretation of events as it is presented, 
but the hope is that you may have gained a better understanding of the important events that are shaping this planet. The world wants to know, and the goal here at Skywatch Media is to make every effort to provide reliable and trustworthy information. Thanks as always for tuning in and supporting Skywatch Media. Your viewership is greatly appreciated.